Hola, muy buenas. This is going to be a video on stem changing verbs in the present tense in Espanol, and it will be a good first step to how verbs can be irregular in their conjugations in Espanol. So the video in English, a lot of um, talking in English and writing verbs in Espanol, but any details in Espanol you should be able to follow based on what's going on in the screen, and certainly the letters here in Espanol. So as a follow-up to basic conjugation, the verbs can end in a erde, o e erde, o i erde, and that there are different endings for those types of verbs. We can start with just verbos a erde and see what they would look like with a stem change. Well, initially, uh, nothing changes. En la forma yo, we know that for verbos a erde, these are the endings. When you say I for the verb, the ending is o. Yo terminan o. And from there, the under, other endings come. As, a, amos, ais, y an. So an example of a regular verb would be tomar, to take, or for food or drink, to eat or drink. And to conjugate tomar, sustituimos la o de la forma yo, y es tomo, y tú tomas etc. Incluso ellos toman. Y eso es la conjugación. So what happens, I suppose, first to, to see these side by side, uh, the verb is tomar. And to fill in all those endings, I take, yo tomo, tú tomas. Él, ella, usted toma, nosotros tomamos, o nosotras tomamos también. Vosotros o vosotras tomáis. Y ellos, ellas, ustedes toman. So, this is a shorter version here of, of the verb, or any AR verb conjugated. We have endings, and what never changes is tom. This AR, the A erde of the verb, is the only thing that changes. So, an example of a stem changing verb is, por ejemplo, almorzar. Almorzar is to eat lunch, or just to lunch. Almorzar, and this is a Z, la letra Z. So, if I were to teach you about a stem-changing verb, to show you that it's stem-changing, I would write entre parentheses aquí, u, e. And we'll see ahora why, why I would do that. Entonces, almorzar, we'll use the same endings. So I should be able to say almorzar, and to conjugate almorzar, la forma yo es terminan o. Pero esto no es el verbo. There's something extra here that won't exactly work. And what's extra is what's called in English a stem change. In Espanol, lo llamamos un cambio de raíz. There's a little explanation for that después. Entonces, yo almuerzo. That's the way to say I, I lunch or I eat lunch. Y si lo escribo aquí, yo almuerzo. This has a... An, a erde verb ending for yo, right there. But it's a stem changing verb, and there's the stem change. And la forma tú estará igual, será igual, será igual aquí. There's the ending from AR verbs. That does not change, but it has a stem change. That's what's different. Almuerzas. Y él almuerza, ella almuerza. Now, for the la forma nosotros... In la forma nosotros, there is no stem change. Entonces empiezo con almorzar. And the only thing I have to do to nosotros is change the ending to almorzamos. There's no stem change here. Almorzáis en vosotros. If you listen to that, almorzáis has no stem change either. In the ellos, ellas, ustedes form again has the stem change. It still ends in... An, as it did here, as all AR verbs do, but it has a stem change as well, almuerzan. So if I highlight for myself, or, or circle here, which are the forms that do have stem changes, I get this. And what does this look like? Well, this is classic verb chart in Espanol. It looks like a bota. Okay, una bota, sort of. You see, these are the, the toes are here, and the resto de la bota está aquí. Una bota. And that helps us remember that within the bota, these forms, if you remember that these are yo, tú, ele, yo, usted, y ellos, ellas, ustedes, do change the stem. 
and these nosotros vosotros forms never do in the in the present indicative tense they never change their stem so other verbs do this there are others you just need to know which ones they are uh, other verbs that come to mind are, are the verbs probar probar is to try is into sample probar la sopa and also the verb we use for quizzing that will always have that stem change in these forms all stem changes only like to change here uh, they, and there jugar is a, a bit strange in that it's not changing its o to ue it changes u to ue but if you were to see it written like this as I teach you that jugar is to play and by the way stem change well that's what it means it means that you're also going to change the stem in most of the forms in many of the the forms so these are all examples probar jugar y almorzar of a stem change in this case for ar verbs of changing the u the o the o of the verb stem to u a and that's a a good start with stem changing verbs there is another type of stem changing verb and we can still do verbos aerde i can use these same endings that i had here um, to show another type of stem changing verb and that's a verb that will do this and after seeing how stem changes work you can imagine what might be going on so an example of we'll use an AR verb a verb that does this uh, es el verbo pensar pensar is one of the verbs to think I remind myself stem change so as I write it out um, again my my endings are here I should pretty well know present tense endings a uh, key uh, pensar es yo pienso, not just penso, pienso. There's the O ending, but we're looking more closely now at the stem change, pienso. Y tú piensas. Y ella piensa. Nosotros, we'll never have this stem change, pensamos. Vosotros pensáis. Y otra vez aquí, ellos, ellas, ustedes piensan, and here it is again. You can see which forms do change. All of these forms change their A to EA, and these two forms did not. You see that their stem stays the same. It does not change. Just as with the verb almorzar, these forms all change their O to UE. And these forms did not. So other verbs that do this, that are AR verbs, would have this this change uh, in otro color aquí. This change of A that changes to EA. Pensar is, is a great verb. Uh, es uno. Otro serían sentar, not sentir, but sentar, to sit. That changes its A to EA. El verbo cerrar sounds like an everyday verb to close uh, and certainly comenzar y también empezar which is the same as comenzar to start to begin has that stem change so AR verbs that can change their stem uh, and there are two different types now this can also happen for ER verbs and th these are different verbs although essentially the only significant difference is that ER verbs have different endings. O, es, a. And this is just a fact of life in Espanol that ER verbs and IR verbs have their own endings. IR verbs are, are of course, a little different. Los verbos ER, I should say, are emos, es. So these verbos e, er, de, e, er, de, have these endings. And now we need an example of one that changes stem. Pues, how about first uh, this stem change? Because it's the same one that we've seen with verbo saerde. So uh, a good verb to do that with, encender. Encender is to turn on or to light, perhaps. Ahí está el cambio. And it looks like this. Okay, would have been would have been like this were it not a stem changing verb encendo 
but that just doesn't work in Espanol. Es enciendo. And all of the forms will have that, that stem change. Enciendes. Enciende. And again, I'm just using regular ER verb endings. They're, they are the same for irregular verbs if the irregularity is just a stem change. And up to here. Y luego nosotros encendemos. No stem change. Encendéis. No stem change. Pero ellos encienden. Sí, stem change. Está aquí el cambio de raíz. So again, the verb encender, to light or to turn on, has stem changes here, but not here. And that gives us una bota. La bota. And anything else about stem changes? Well, some more verbs that do this because this is just the beginning here. Uh, but some more verbs that do this. Uh, querer is a famous one in Espanol. What is querer again? Querer is to want. If you try writing that just for a moment, let's try, let's try the stem change. Querer. Loses its ER for conjugation. And y en la forma yo, the ending is O. It's right there. Entonces, quiero is not how you say I want in Espanol. It's quiero. In other verbs that do that, querer is to want. There's its, its stem change. A reminder that it's a stem changing verb there. Perder is to lose. Perder. Yo pierdo. Preferir. Prefiero. And preferir brings up a good question. There, there are two A's here. Which one changes? Well, when that is the case, when you see two vowels and you're not sure which one is the stem change, it's going to be this one, uh, we're going to change the color, este, that is the second to last syllable, the syllable that comes before the ending, which is the one that will be stressed when the verb is pronounced. So that stem change is always pronounced. It's not prefero, it's prefiero, y quiero, pierdo, enciendo, y pienso, siento, cierro, comienzo, so that that stem change will have the stress when there are two syllables and two vowels to choose from, or as many syllables as you want before the verb. It's the syllable that comes before the ending. That is the stem change. Uh, there is, I suppose, one other thing to look at here, and that's uh, the O to UE change. Are there verbs that are also, we've seen that, all right? we've seen that right here, almorzar and, and also probar y jugar, and there are many others that are AR verbs. But in a, a verb that is Un verbo e erde that has this change? Sure, they, they exist too. A common one is volver, to return, and can have different meanings and different expressions. And certainly with prefixes, um, revolver, etc. Volver is a stem changing verb. We'll have a, a stem change in these forms. And there are IR stem changing verbs too. Of course, IR verbs in Espanol, if I'm reading these in Espanol, that's right are e erde verbs that end in e erde have different endings right here uh, but they can have stem changes sure there are stem changing verbs that have irregularities on top of the irregularities and for now we've left those out but here we are the basics of stem changing verbs looks like this you change things here you change a stem here but not here whether it's an ar verb almorzar that changes o to ue or an ER verb, encender, which changes here. E changes, or the letter A changes to EA. Or pensar, an AR verb, AR, which changes aquí and not aquí. So we certainly see a pattern. Stem changing verbs. Uh, hopefully your notes look a little bit more organized than mine. Or if not, let's hope at least that it makes sense.